He does. And for Shea, a brilliant backhand passing shot up the line. Wheaton did not make a bad play there. Kept the pressure on him. A look at the volley here. Now watch Forge lines up the backhand, goes for it, and the ball just inside the sideline. No question about the shot. Thank you. And so Guy Forge now at match Five. point out here on the grandstand. Five. A tremendous effort by both players. The second set got very tense. Wheaton trying to even it, but Forge prevailed in that tie break. And so Guy Forge, the number 13 seed, moves ahead with a very tough four set win over the tall American David Wheaton. There is Forge's wife who sat through nearly three hours of tennis out here on the grandstand. Obviously delighted the entire French contingent right there in the tunnel. And a tremendous group of Frenchmen extremely happy with this win as their man moves ahead. And so that's the story from the grandstand. Forge, the number 13 seed, looking tough. We'll be back with more tennis from the U.S. Open. National Tennis Center, Flushing Meadows, New York. Todd Martin, a wild card. Pete Sampras, the number three seed. And Todd Martin with another break point in the third game. But again, Sampras saved it to hold. And now we're at 3-2 on serve. First serve of the sixth game. Todd Martin coming out very confidently starting out the match. Pete Sampras still trying to find the range on his ground strokes. Todd not afraid to hit out from the baseline. He's taking some chances on Pete's second serve. He's trying to move in to the net behind a couple returns. You see Todd Martin showing a great deal of confidence. And while we were watching the conclusion of that great match on the grandstand, it's pretty much been the story. Well, that's a, that's a good move when you're six feet six inches tall. You're awfully tough to pass. Ace number three, so Guy Forge, check that, ace number four. Guy Forge is through to the round of 16. He awaits the winner of this match. And Guy Forge is with Cindy Schmirler. Cindy? Congratulations, 20 aces, 12 forehand winners. Was that the difference tonight? Well, I think David served very well, too, and uh, I knew the, the key point was going to be the returns, and on, you know, on some, in the tiebreaker, and when I broke him, I think I was a bit, maybe a bit more consistent than he was on some returns, but it was a very close match, and uh, he could have gone the other way as well. Now, you've never made it to the round of 16 here at the U.S. Open. Why is this such a tough tournament for you? Well, I guess I, I was not a good enough of a tennis player, you know, in the past, in the past years, and I just... You know, got to a higher level in the last two in the last two years. Last year I lost to Simrink, and you know I hope this year will be a, uh, you know my best year. I mean, it is my best year so far, but I hope I win one more round. And you know, uh, but you know everybody's good now, so you have to play your best to to go to the next rounds. Well, good possibility you'll face Pete Sampras in that next round. What do you have to do to beat him out here? Well, you know, Pete has been playing uh, so well in the last few weeks. He's he's maybe the best player in the world so far on this surface. So. I'm going to have to play my best tennis to beat him, and uh, that's not going to be easy because, you know, he's playing in front of his uh, home crowd, and, uh, but, you know, I, I enjoy myself because we'll probably be playing on the center court, and that's, you know, that's a great experience. So, you know, that's what we play for, to play, you know, the, the big names on the big courts. Well, good luck to you facing an American on center court at the U.S. Open. Now let's go back and find out how Pete Sampras is doing out there. <coughs> All right, Cindy, thank you very much, and a look at the draw. Pete Sampras if he gets through this one, and we are on serve at 3-all, would play Guy Forger, the 13th seed. And you see two unseeded players, Brad Gilbert 
And Alexander Volkov in the round of 16. So that means there will be an unseeded player in the quarters. And Guy Fouché is a very classy guy and an incredible shot maker. I couldn't believe some of the shots he pulled off at Deuce in that game, that backhand passing shot. Reminds me a lot of the shots that Rod Laver used to try and make. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Thirty love, and on Todd Martin's last service game, gave up only one point to Sampras. Anticipation from Pete Sampras. 40 love. Pete Sampras was lucky to get this return back. Got back to the middle of the court and just held his ground. Todd Martin could have maybe hesitated a, a fraction longer. with a really nice one-hander. 40-30. Classic two-handed backer. Gets it right back, straight through. And here he couldn't reach it with the two hands and he just pokes it down the line. Didn't overhit it. Very smart play. 40-30 now. Ace number three from Pete Sampras. We're on serve. 4-3 in the first. On the right, the hottest tennis player in the world coming into the open, Pete Sampras. On the left, Todd Martin from Lansing, Michigan, ranked number 93 in the world. Right now, staying with Sampras at 4-3. Good inside out forehand from Todd long. Martin. And he has been exceptionally solid on his own serve, losing only four points. We talk about how well Sampras has been playing. Martin's best performance of the year came in Indianapolis three weeks ago. He made it to the semifinals at the U.S. Men's Hard Courts. Played a great match against Jim Courier. Courier won in straight sets, but he had to survive two tie breaks to beat Todd Martin. away the net court. A good looking two handed stroke. Sets up really well for it. Gets it back so early. Really good preparation. Now he takes his time. Doesn't rush it. You see so many players rush that easy ball. That time he foot, footwork was very good. Great preparation and he just guided it down the line. 40-30. 